The remaining hoops for your tub should be lined up with the chalk lines drawn on select stays around your tub. If you need exact measurements for these placements, you may find them in your manual. The lugs for the remaining hoop should be spaced three stave joints away from the one below it, creating a stair step like progression. You may use more nails at this step to hold the hoops in their desired positions. Tighten the hoop with the ratcheting wrench on both sides of the lug. When tightening the nuts on either side of each lug, make sure that they are even and that the overall tightness for each hoop does not exceed that of the bottom hoop. In order to determine this, measure the exposed thread on each side of every lug and make adjustments accordingly to equal the amount from the bottom hoop. Rounding the tub with your mallet should be a gradual process. Moving the stays from the first red line to the second red line should be evenly done, with the goal of all the stays arriving to the second red line at the same moment. Your mallet will only be used to impact the bottom hoop. There is no need to directly hit the stave with the mallet. Start with light blows during the first rounding of the tub. Tighten each lug's nuts evenly starting with the bottom lug and working up. Again, the thread lengths of each hoop on either side of the lug should be equal. Each following round should be used with harder hits to the bottom hoop. If necessary, a hammer and block of wood may be used to add a stronger force to the hoop to move the staves in their desired position. Continue this rounding process until you are unable to tighten the lugs on the bottom hoop. After all the exposed thread length is even, be sure to compare the length with the guide in the manual to ensure that your tub is as tight as it needs to be. Once completed, we recommend that you apply silicone to the inside of the tub to ensure any remaining gaps are sealed.